Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Nina's Hidden Apron. We're going to make some holiday banana bread. I don't know. I don't really know what makes it holiday or not. I guess the fact that I'm fixing it for a holiday. That's the difference. Let me get you guys switched around here and tell you what I've got over here that we're going to make this bread with. I love banana bread. Here, I've got two bananas and two eggs and a fourth cup or a fourth teaspoon, sorry, of uh, nutmeg. You don't have to put the nutmeg in it if you don't want to. That's fine. And I like to let use my little egg beater here to mash up those bananas and mix the eggs together at the same time. Here, now if you want to use just all uh, brown sugar, you can. If you want to use all white sugar, you can. I just did a mixture of both. I have a cup. Right now, I've got a half cup of brown sugar, half cup of white sugar. That's what's in here. This is a stick of butter that I've microwaved to soften it. Because I'm going to put the sugar in with it. We're going to cream it, actually. Now, in here... I've got a fourth, one and a fourth cup of all-purpose flour, and I also have half a teaspoon of salt. I used sea salt for this, and a teaspoon of baking soda. So, there's all of that. And over here, I've got my baking pan ready. I put some of the uh, Pam Nonstick Cooking uh, Olive Oil Spray on the inside of the pan and then I also covered the pan with some parchment paper and sprayed it again just in case it wanted to stick. So let's get you guys set up over here so you can watch the magic happen. Hold on. <laughs> so let's cream together our butter and our sugars. Let's get those creamed in together. Now, you can use an electric mixer if you want to. You don't have to do it like this. It's just the way I choose to do it. Try not to throw your butter and sugar all over the place like I'm doing. Jiminy Christmas. Good grief. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Get that out of there. Let's go ahead and finish mixing up our eggs. Now you can put three bananas in here if you want to. I have two. I think I already told y'all that, but uh, it just depends on how much you want the, the flavor of a banana to come through. So, the next thing we're going to do is... Add the sugar mixture, sugar and butter mixture in with the banana and egg mix. Out of the way. Okay, now. Yeah. Mix this easy. Just 
just like that. Next, we're going to add our flour, sea salt, and baking soda mix. I'm just going to put the whole thing in there. Do this slow. Again, you do stuff like this slow so you don't have a, a big old cloud of flour coming up out of it. Oh, and I do have the oven preheated to 350 degrees, by the way. Now, I make this several days ahead of time before the holiday. And then I let it cool down and I wrap it in plastic wrap but before I wrap it in the plastic wrap I take the parchment paper that I used to bake it in in the pan wrap it around that around the bread first and then I take the plastic wrap and put on it you can wrap it entirely in parchment paper if you want to it just you have to be careful because you don't want to risk uh, drying out your bread by leaving it set in the fridge but you can make this up to a week ahead of time and it still turns out great right now we're going to take the whisk I think I just flicked that on me but it's okay we're going to stir this up whisk it round and round Ooh, smells good. I can smell the bananas coming out. I can smell the bananas coming out of there. And that little hint of nutmeg. My, my. It smells great. Now, you can also put a little bit of cinnamon in here if you want to. I choose not to. Because I like the flavor of the banana and the nutmeg. All right, now, here is our pan that I've got ready. Let me clear the way here, clear the way. All right, here we go. You can always double this if you want two loaves. I like to try to get as much of it out of the bowl as I can. Obviously, huh? Okay. Get this over there out of my way. I do have my sink over here, but ready, but I didn't want to put that in just yet. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm just going to spread that out. Nice and even. Now, after this bakes and cools completely down, you can always make a caramel icing to put on the top. You can just do a cream cheese frosting if you wanted to. I choose to serve it with nothing, just the bread. You want to be able to taste that yumminess in that bread. All right, let's get this in our oven. Now, this is going to bake anywhere from uh, 50 minutes to, to an hour. And there we go. Magic in progress. See y'all soon. I'm going to get my mask cleaned up. Um... The bread's been baking for 50 minutes, and I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and see if it's done. Need I tell you all, this smells amazing. <laughs> Let's get it out and see. Hopefully, I don't set off my alarm. Hopefully, I don't set off Brinkley. Boo. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. This is the only way I can get this out of here without... Here he comes. <laughs> I have to hurry. Look at that. Ooh, she smells nice. 
Yeah, buddy. Mr. Owens, does this smell good? <laughs> oh, that smells amazing. <laughs> it really mm. does, y'all. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's sitting crooked. <laughs> now, we're going to take it because this is deeper than a toothpick. I'm going to take a wooden skewer and poke it in here in the center. Of course, when you get it out, you have to go really slow because you don't want to make it fall. And you're looking to make sure there's no batter and nothing sticking to it. And there is... Mm, can't tell if y'all can see that, but there's not. <laughs> there's not. It's done, in other words. So, let's go ahead and turn off the oven. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, while this is still hot, I'm going to spread a little bit of butter on it. But, yeah, that more needs a little bit of wax on it, don't it? <laughs> okay. The first thing I want to do, though, besides that, is I want to take a butter knife and just go around the edges right there. Make sure it's not sticking to the pan. But I want to put my butter on it while it's in the pan. That way it doesn't make a mess on the counter. Makes sense? Of course it does, right? So, let's just cut us a little bit of butter. We're going to put it on here and just run it across the top. And if you put too much on it, it's okay. Your oven is still warm. You can uh, put it in there and let it just melt all down it. Look at that. Wow, isn't that just lovely? One of the reasons I do this, obviously, because butter tastes great on bread, but like I said, it is going to be sitting in the fridge. It's going to be wrapped up nicely, but it's going to be sitting in the fridge. And uh, this will keep the top of it nice and soft and uh, hold in. The moisture says it's not actually so it doesn't escape from the top. Now, I've been making this bread for many years. I can tell you I've been making it for probably 20 years. And it's delicious. So you all have got my recipe. If you run it back, you'll hear it. Or you can go to my Facebook page where I have... Uh, a lot of my recipes and it's called handcrafted by if you go to Facebook and you search at handcrafted by your little at symbol with handcrafted by behind it you're gonna find me it's also gonna say Nana's hidden apron on it it's gonna have the little mouse that I like to use as my logo but that's me Nana's hidden apron at handcrafted by if you have not subscribed yet I hope you will please click the subscribe button when you do you get notifications a uh, little notification bell is going to pop up you click that and all you'll get all notifications every time I put any kind of vlog on my page on my channel I'm sorry on my channel on my YouTube channel I also have an Instagram page uh, we'll put the links to that and to my Facebook page on here but uh, I hope you will give this a try it's a very easy bread to make uh, you know it's not as easy as the quick breads that you can buy in the box now but it's about almost that easy uh, so you all give it a try would you give it a try let me know what you think now I can tell you, if you want to go with this being sugar-free, uh, you know, you're going to have the sugar from the bananas, but, you know, it's not going to... I don't know about imitation banana, that imitation banana stuff. I don't like any banana but real banana. But I can tell you that if you want to cut down on the sugar, you certainly can by using the... Don't use, don't use the the white stevia go with the brown stevia and only use three 
fourths of a cup of that. Don't go any more than that because you're going to have it, honestly, it'll taste too sweet. But if you replace the sugars with that, then you'll be fine. And if you want to make it keto-ish, then you can always add almond flour instead of the all-purpose flour. Y'all, it smells so good. Isn't that just... Oh my goodness. I wish you all could smell it. You make it, you will. Now, let's give it a pull up and out. Look at that. Isn't that just the easiest thing ever? Love it. Love it. Put it over there. Now, what I'm doing is I'm pulling the paper down so I can let it cool a little bit. I don't want it to get uh, soggy. So I'm pulling this paper down. I'm gonna let it cool completely down. Then I'm gonna wrap it back up in this paper, tape it up, and put plastic, uh, the plastic wrap on it. But that's it. That is my banana bread. <laughs> smells wonderful. You all take care. Enjoy your day. And give this banana bread a try. Like I said, it's close to the holiday, so we're going to call it holiday banana bread. Okay. Somebody has convinced me that I really should uh, give this a slice open and let a taste test happen. Ooh, look at that. Can you see that steam coming out of there? Yeah. Let me show you something. Look at that. Look how pretty. See all that steam coming off of that? I forgot to tell you all, you can add uh, a fourth cup of chopped walnuts if you want to. Or pecans, whatever you like best. And the brownness, that is not burned. That is because it has brown sugar in it. Okay? So. <laughs> Y'all know I get a little taste too. But. Uh, I'm going to switch this around. Tom's going to step over here and uh, grab him a bite of it there. We're going to see what what he thinks. Yeah, go ahead. Um. Well, you know I wasn't going to grab the little one. <laughs> well, of course not. That's for me. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah? Can you... How How's the difference with the brown sugar where I switch and put half a cup of brown sugar and, and white sugar? Do you like that all right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a little bit sweeter, but it's really good. So I probably should have backed off on the white. Okay, so we'll just say on the white sugar, we'll just do a fourth cup instead of half a cup. And then half a cup of brown sugar. <laughs> it's all right. Just it's take it out. The, the crust on the outside of it. Yeah. Did it do like when a... you bite into it, it's got like a little pop to it. Yeah. Like a little crunch. Not not really a crunch, but it's... It's... The brown sugar is, has has crusted. Yes. Caramelized. Caramelized. Kind of yeah. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. My turn. I like it that way. Mm. Now for me, um, I like the outer edge crumb, the, the little crunch to it. Oh, that's good, y'all. Good. Okay. <laughs> 